Welcome to Alpha Cars and Motorcycles. My name is Dimitri and today we're checking out 2022 Euro Gear Up Bronze Satin. This is one of our custom bikes that we just finished the assembly and set up with almost $6,000 worth of exciting accessories. We're gonna take it outside and check it all out. I am glad we took this bike outside with uh, this beautiful weather and the sun hitting the paint. This bronze metallic color is just unbelievable. So let's take a walk around the bike and we'll check out the condition of it. Obviously it's brand new, but look at how beautiful it is. And We'll get to look at all the accessories. And yes, it is a 2022 model, so it comes standard with the two into one, all stainless steel high mount exhaust. Comes with K37 Hendeno tires. And look at the paint. It is absolutely beautiful. As far as accessories package, in no special order, but uh, I'll probably use the order that we have it on the website. So if you printed it out or just looking at the screen side by side, uh, the first thing I'm gonna point out that the standard LED driving lights that come standard on the gear up, the standard placement of the harness is on the outside of the bumper. So what we do, we offer to run the harness inside the bumper and there's a, there's a little bit of labor consumption there, but the outcome is the clean bumper and uh, the electrical connector that pops out from the bottom, the middle of the bumper, and then the harness enters the bumper from the end of the bumper right here, and then it runs inside the bumper. So we have that. And as you probably noticed, we do have metal LED lamp guards you can see them right here and they definitely enhance the look and protect your lights we also have it on your fender light which is a nice option and if you look at these lights when they're turned on we're going to turn them on now You can see LED lamp inside the headlamp. And what we use, we use H4 Hella lens. So when you're driving your Ural on the road and anyone seeing a motor vehicle in the rear view mirror, they're gonna see all these lights on. So they're gonna see the width of the vehicle and you're gonna have plenty of light on the road, that's for sure. We're gonna turn them off, even though as an LED light, they do not use a lot of power. While we're on the electrical, let's check out some few things here. We have the 12 volt power outlet, which is right there. We have uh, heated grips. Those are very, very good, very, very good, very reliable. We use them for years and they give you a nice uh, hand grip, which is heated and it produces a lot of heat. I personally use them on many bikes and they work awesome. We also have this um, device mount, which works 
amazing and it's super sturdy because the base of it goes into this Ural accessory mount plate with the ball. You can see right here, we're gonna loosen that up. So you can see how it's done. Let me just position it, here it is. So you can see right here and it is super, super sturdy. So we're gonna tighten it up, adjust it, adjust it and tighten it up. Back to the accessories. As far as electrical, we also have hazard lights. You flip the switch and all the lights are blinking on the motorcycle. Speaking of flashing lights or lights in general, this bike, uh, all the lights are converted to LED bulbs. So that's a nice feature because you wouldn't have to replace the bulbs as frequently or at all for that matter. The bike also has an air horn. That's one of my personal favorite accessories and many of our customers uh, told us they had instances where uh, this was very, very handy. So the horn is a direct drive compressor. It is right here and it has no delay because if you have a compressor and then you have a hose and you have an air horn, there's a tiny, you know, it could be a delay. So this one is, sits right on, it sits right on the compressor. Let's hear it. Yeah, high, very loud and instant. Yep, yeah, people can hear us right in the showroom. So we have that. Um, so let's uh, continue with accessories. Um, very popular is the left side food box. It does a number of really cool, um, cool things to the motorcycle. First of all, it makes it easy to get on and off the bike for anyone. It's like real easy. Look at that, just get right on. While you're on the bike with this foot box, you have excellent protection for your foot. That's for sure. And if you're off-roading and you need to shift your weight on the left side of the bike, you could literally stand on this foot box, just like I'm doing right now with your two feet just like this and that way you can have the weight on the very very left side of the bike you can also lean out and that's nice for uh, really off-road terrain when you need that weight on this side so that's an awesome accessory it also protects your not only your foot but it also protects the left side of the engine because in addition to your uh, standard engine guard. This one has uh, this extension that leads to the food box. So if there's something that hits the engine, the bar is not as easily to collapse in. We have a light cuff. It's actually right on the surface. So we're gonna clean that off. Mm. And as you can see, this food box is a heavy duty construction really heavy duty construction. And the headlamp while we're here has a nice uh, visor. Not only the appearance of the bike is kind of cool, but it reduces the glare under certain driving condition, riding conditions. And then we have a nice windshield um uh, hand shifter we've been doing those for years people love them and this particular one we have th this uh, function what it does here this will shift your gears by hand so the weight will work 
you can shift your gears with your foot just like you usually do or you can shift it with your hand you see when i'm doing it with my foot the hand shifter moves so i can then shift it with my hand and then the foot shifter moves why do you need it well if you happen to ride the bike in the winter that's a very important feature because in big winter boots with ice and snow it's tough to shift it with your foot also again for certain off-road situations it's really 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 handy to have and then in addition we do have the uh here it is we do have the reverse so instead of using your foot to engage the reverse you can use this right here that's in reverse out of reverse so that's really really nice nice feature yeah there are more to come you can see the nose rack nice installation by our service team you can see heavy duty rubber spacers between the metal bases of the rack and the beautiful uh, bronze metallic paint we have a, a side view mirror on the sidecar there's another thing we have on the sidecar and that's this gorgeous handmade fancy wood dashboard sidecar windshield of course with the apron and then every bike that we set up here Ural of New England we do install a trickle charger uh, port a trickle charger port so it's right there nice and easy for you to plug in so those were additional extras and accessories that we installed on this bike i think i covered everything as far as standard features for the gear up there's definitely a lot of cool stuff first of all it's the latest generation of the fuel injection and number of uh, welcome internal improvements to the engine we mentioned the tires um, we have uh, steering hydraulic steering damper that does a great job of course a nice exhaust system right here you can see it and then the best feature of Ural's two-wheel drive system you can see the drive shaft going from the bike wheel to the sidecar wheel and then it is an on-demand system and you can engage and disengage two-wheel drive by simply moving this lever so when it's pointing towards the engine it's one wheel drive when it's pointing towards the rear of the bike it's two wheel drive and this bike turns into an incredibly capable off-road machine you can see the drive shaft system here with serviceable u-joints fit and finish and engineering of modern Ural motorcycles simply amazing you can see a modern braking system using Brembo calipers floating rotors legendary suspension system and I'll point something out which is uh, not a huge detail if you just glance at the bike but it's huge from the standpoint of durability um, all moving points of the control arm so this is the control arm and it connects to the frame so every time you hit the bump the control arm moves up and down the shock the spring all that works but this is the pivoting point of the control arm in the um, in the frame and traditionally those were either rubber bushings or bronze bushings or some kind of a bushing system so what Ural uses uh, they use 
dual uh, bearings, sealed bearings. So what it does, it eliminates any type of free play as uh, bu bushing or, or, or uh, rubber bushing or bronze bushing would wear it would introduce a little bit of free play and tiny little bit of free play here will contribute to amplified substantially more free play on the wheel so on some of those you could see the wheel moves back and forth so Ural for years they've been using these bearings that we simply have not changed because they do not wear. And that is also true for the uh, joint right here in the front suspension, leading fork front suspension. You can see these really nice high-end uh, shocks, adjustable shocks, they can be adjusted. You can see four piston uh, caliper here, again with a floating uh, high-performance brake rotor. And you can just see how nicely and heavy duty everything is, how it's done and, and designed. Uh, with this particular bike, we also have another cool option from the factory. You can see the um, under the fender surfaces on all three fenders and the bottom of the sidecar are lined with protective coatings to prevent chips from road hazards. You can see, look at this, you can see it right here. The whole underbody of the sidecar is very nicely protected. So that's a nice option. And on this bike, we also have the same coating on the inside of the tub and inside of the, uh, of the let's open the trunk and inside of the trunk, I believe as well. Yes, for sure. Check that out. Yes, welcome to Udall of New England. Here's the famous and most complete toolkit um, you can currently expect the manufacturer would give you. Well, actually, you don't even expect that anymore because they don't give you much. You're lucky to get a screwdriver in the 10 millimeter range. Ural gives you a complete service toolkit. You also get a shovel, folding shovel. You also get a military grade uh, jerry can. You have various options for the seat. This is a standard seat. And uh, we actually like it a lot because it allows, especially for tall people, it allows you to stretch your legs and slide back. We also have uh, tractor style solo seats for the front and for the rear passenger. We also have a two up bench seat and there's another uh, touring seat. You can get a solo seat also. You also have uh, the cargo compartment in the gas tank, which is a nice detail, it's optional. And we have this phenomenal engine and transmission and two wheel drive. It sounds great, we're gonna hear it. It feels great on the road. We're gonna try to uh, take it around the building. It's gonna be tough with a camera, but with a hand shifter, we should be able to do it. So let's get on the bike. Plenty of room for your right foot, left foot. Let's uh, turn the ignition on. Let's get the engine started. So I squeeze the clutch and I'm gonna put it in first gear. Watch the hand shifter move. Okay, so we are in first gear. Our parking brake is on. We're gonna turn it off, move this out. So we can now take off. And look at that, I'm not even giving any throttle because it has so much torque. Here's the drive shaft, you can see it's spinning. I'm gonna shift it into second gear. 
And for that, I'm going to squeeze the clutch. Second gear, release the clutch, and I'm still not even using my throttle. At idle, in second gear, plenty of torque. How about third gear? Do the same thing, squeeze the clutch, third gear, at idle, going around the building in third gear. Third gear at idle, no issues. Very easy to steer motorcycle. It's purpose built and purpose engineered to carry the sidecar. I don't know if it's a good idea. We're actually going uphill, but let's uh, put it in fourth gear. That's fourth gear. We're still at idle. And it's pulling just fine. I'm going to downshift third, second. We're still at idle, never touch that throttle. Turning around. Put it in first gear. By the way, here is the younger brother of the Euro motorcycle. This is the TJ750. But as far as Euros, here's one very, very fine example with some really amazing accessories that uh, we set up. And there's still room for improvisation if you're looking to make this bike really yours so we are going to put it in reverse using the hand shifter uh, we're actually going to take this lever right here where is it there it is and we're going to move it up i will need to squeeze the clutch and sorry for the camera position i'm going to grab this and move it up so now we are in reverse and we're gonna back up in the motorcycle yes this one has a reverse and you can actually because it's a mechanical reverse it is not one of those reverse that with electric starter this one you can actually ride in reverse for as many miles as you can physically sustain as a as an individual but as far as bike there's no harm you can go in reverse from, from many many miles if you wish so we're going to squeeze this stop the bike and we're going to put it in uh, neutral and to do that all you need to do is move this lever down i'm actually going to do it with my foot because my camera is in my right hand so we are in neutral here's the neutral light and now we can shift it forward first gear second gear <laughs> 